Why am I still getting f***ing pimples at age 27? Finite and infinite. Finite is having limits or boundaries, while infinite is having limited space and endless possibilities. I've been rereading this book right here. If you haven't came across Simon Sinek's work yet, I highly suggest watching some of his videos of his speakings and reading some of his books as well. He's a very talented author and a very gifted speaker. Now into his book, The Infinite Game, it dives into the infinite mindset and the finite mindset. Having a limitless mindset and having a mindset that holds boundaries. And this message of the comparison of the two is great to put out for men's personal development because there is a lack of infinite thinking amongst us men. And I would say very much succumbed obediency to a finite mindset for these modern days. Because you have to remember that your world, your worldview, your life is only finite through your infinite thoughts. You create it. Anything that goes on inside of your world, your physical reality, a boundary, a pursuit, an achievement, whatever it is, it's created with your infinite thoughts. Your capability to think of something before it even happens. And it's put out into reality and is established as a finite, as I've said. The realm of limitedless possibilities created by man is very limited today by finite a finite mindset. Sinek goes into this with his book with the comparison to the Vietnam War in the US on how we wanted to win the war but there were so many quagmires created that our infinite power became finite and we had to pull out. Another great example I can give is with the working force these days especially in the realm of manufacturing for us men because in the era of my grandpa's time and even up to my dad's time you work one job at one company for 30 years or so and then you retire and it was considered to be kind of very lazy per se to jump from company to company to gain experience because it seems like you couldn't hold down a good job but that's how it is these days with those guys in manufacturing especially is we have to jump from job to job because a lot of companies these days are thinking with that finite mindset. They only care about what's coming in, what's coming out at that split second, what's making them money and what's not. They're not thinking of what is to come if we take certain steps that will leave this situation prosperous. And all those who engage with it feeling prosperous as well from it. As in companies aren't really treating their employees as good as they used to. Even my great grandpa, he started out on the shop floor right from the bottom. And he worked his way up to a superintendent of GM. My grandpa, he went to school, but he still had to start down at the bottom and work his way up into a tool and die engineer. Same with my dad and my uncle, worked his way up into a lab engineering position. Completely different story when I got into it, completely. More finite barriers to overcome. A lot of cases that I've experienced is just most of the time these companies would just have an endpoint. They'd be dead end jobs. It may seem like it's a big company, it provides good services for ginormous things, but it's not what it used to be. It's gotten away from that infinite mindset. And you can see a lot with a lot of guys these days of how they act. Again, especially in manufacturing, a lot of encounterments that I've encountered with the attitude of the company I'd be working at is a bad attitude towards the company because the company is mistreating the employees by putting up such finite barriers between them and not caring because basically you're just a number and once that number is gone what do you do you just find another number next day just to satisfy a certain workflow so you can meet the acquired income you need to on a day-by-day -day basis no matter what cost another good point that Sinek goes over into his book is on how our declaration of independence was pursued with an infinite mindset look around look around in this country it's still going on today it's still followed today it still upholds its values today it's still infinite this is why all men naturally have a purpose in life to have no boundaries with their thinking capabilities of what they want to achieve in life that they can go forth to that they had this mindset in their head they don't know exactly of what they need to overcome to achieve it but the boundaries are endless and overcomable in a sense that they need to achieve it they're limitless with their thinking capabilities they're not going to stop until they have that sweet feeling of infinity of prosperity and a lot of guys have gotten away from that these days they settle they settle for less capability than they truly have my favorite author wayne dyer numerously talks about this too he gives examples like when you die say you weigh over 150 pounds when you're dead you're gone but you still weigh over 150 pounds but you're not there what's gone your infinite thoughts your infinite soul it's left you, and what's left is the finite. 
the physical reality, the physical body that you grew up in and ended your life in. That's why with all of his work, he precisely explains if you change the way you look at things, the way you look at things changes. You have to change your mindset. You have to have an infinite mindset of what you want and not be held back by the finite boundaries that are placed in front of you. In fact, be enthused by it. It's gonna help you along that infinite path to infinity, to prosperity. It all goes back to that simple rule that man reaps what he sows. As in, if you as a man have something in your head that you want to achieve that will bring you to a prosperous lifestyle, don't let anything hold you back. Infinitely think of the possibilities of how to achieve it and what your life will look like once it's achieved. And do not get succumbed to the finite boundaries, the distractions, the stuff that makes it almost seem like it's impossible when it's truly not. Saint Perigine, patron saint of all forms of cancer. We ask you for your help in asking God to heal my cancer and keep it in remission. Pray for me so that I may live a long and faithful life.